Uh, the first drill here is just a simple line step over. Main emphasis here is that we're exploding off of our toes and keeping our feet off the black line. After that, we're going to do just about the same thing, but this time we're going to move laterally. So here we want to have our stick out and we want to chop our feet and explode off of that toe, planting our foot past that red line. A point of emphasis here is as you plant, you want to keep the front of your foot square to your target and explode off of those toes. Now we're doing a line hop drill here. Same as before, we want to keep our toes square at our target, stick out and explode off of those toes, staying off the black line. Now we're going to go through the same motion, moving laterally, making sure our shoulders and our hips are square at our target, and that we're exploding off the front of our foot. Uh, the key here is to explode with your hips, and we'll get that front foot around while keeping your shoulders square towards your target and your stick out. So I'm going to freeze a clip right here. You can see my feet and my hips are facing one direction, while my shoulders are facing another, and my eyes are up looking at the target, and my stick is out. So this next drill is meant to mimic an incoming dodge. Let me pause it. So it's important to note here that you don't want to completely backstep here. You want to kind of open your hips just a little bit and keep that heel facing the target while your front foot is down and your eyes are up and your stick is out. Yep, so stance, top hand out. Yep, good. Not, don't bring the heels too close together. Pay attention to your... Uh, your main emphasis here is keeping your posture, so you want to keep your chest up, head even with your toes and your back flat. Don't let the, don't let the feet come together. There you go. So keep your base. Good. Right, this one's at about 50%. Get a little bit faster. Good. Try to pay attention to your feet. Don't let the heels touch. Yep, try to stay, keep a wide base. All right, this is a simple three-cone approach drill. All right, so Jack Cornetick here is going to have a stick to the inside, bring it out in front of him, and approach. Yep. He's always shuffling. Uh, pause it right and here. Then facing the ball. I uh, just want to emphasize you want to keep your posture even in this drill as well. Good. Opening up with a stick up in the air. You can work on changing hands. You also want to make sure that you're keeping your eyes up and your stick face open, ready to pick off any passes coming through the lane. Well, and work your right and left hands. Guys, remember your quick cradles. The motion is a cradling motion. So if Jack just has the ball in his stick and he does some low power cradles with a stick below his waist, keep going, Jack. Keep going. Just keep cradling like that. Just keep the motion going. All right, that's going to be your motion, right? So that's the same motion you're picking the ball up with. So if Jack puts the ball down, already picks the ball up with that same motion, all right, that's going to be a strong uh, move for him. We like to see his stick actually come all the way up and upside down. All right, because that's actually, if he gets checked, the ball comes out at his feet. All right, and then from, from that, you can walk, you can do these just standing there. You can do these at home. Um, you can walk around. Jack's going to walk around now a little bit. You can walk around your yard or in your driveway and just put the ball down and pick it up. All right, and you're trying to keep a low one cradle, not two cradles, just one cradle. I'm going to zoom in here, guys. Good. Remember with the stick, try to come upside down. Just a couple cradles for me, Jack. That's the cradling motion. Very, keep going, please. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, if you watch his hands, his, his right hand is a lefty, so his right hand is very quiet, and his left hand is very active. His top hand is the one controlling the ball.